Welcome to Grace Talk. I am one of the assistant pastors, Elder Ronald E. Smith of the Apostolic Church of God. And we welcome you to listen to our subject. We are not broken. First, give an honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to our pastor, Dr. Byron T. Brazier, for the opportunity to bring to you a word in regard that we are not broken. In Hosea, the fourth chapter and the sixth verse, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. This passage of scripture I wanted to open up with because of the times that we find ourselves in. The importance of the people of God knowing the knowledge because the scripture said we are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I also will reject you from being priests for me because you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. The failure in this chapter in Hosea was Israel's religious leaders, including most of the prophets brought about their downfall in the lack of knowledge, the priest failed to teach God's law to the people. The result is the priest would be the special object of God's judgment, and no one will escape the eternal judgment of God. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we must study to show yourself approved and not just solely, only rely on the pastor, preacher, teacher, leader. We all have a personal responsibility to do your best through the reliance and dependence of the Holy Ghost. This is why you must be born again. To present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who study to show thyself approved unto God. So our text gives to us God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, which is the cause of man and woman problems, the lack of knowledge. The knowledge of God does not stem from a shortage of information, but rather from information in the Bible being rejected by men and women, and the results, the lack of knowledge of the fall of Adam, the origin of sin and original sin. This is why we find in Romans, the 8th chapter, the ninth verse, If any man or woman have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Those that are in the flesh, in verse 8 of that Romans, the 8th chapter, cannot please God. Those that are in a carnal, unregenerate state, still in the state under the reigning power of sin. Jesus says, I said, therefore, for this reason, I am he, the Christ, the Savior of the world. We are not broken. I am he, and he that should come, the Messiah, the anointed one. So, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, how necessary it is that we believe this, because we are not broken. God's message is not bound. The gospel cannot be stopped by hindrances that we find today by viruses, by violence, racism. God ultimately, we must realize and know why we are not broken, holds the key to the distribution of the gospel. The gospel, most importantly, in the written and spoken word of God, in the context of our commitment to engage our world in the necessity that you must be born again. That one soul is the essence, the essence of who you are. And there is no more important part of your being than your soul. It is the real you. People everywhere are desperately searching for something to meet the void 
and emptiness of life, the emptiness of real happiness, the hollow, the meaningless, the searching for something that is real, something or someone that can they can believe in, that is solid, true, and satisfying, something that works, the gospel. Jesus is the way. We are encouraged in the Bible to get wisdom and get understanding and to forget it not. Neither decline from the words God says of his mouth. Wisdom is the principal thing. God is greater than those who oppose you. This is why the importance knowing that the greatest subject that you can engage yourself in is the study of God. The study and thought about God is the very ground of the Christian church. The wrong ideas and misconceptions about God have led to man's fall and universal sin. The study of God's word is just not a history book, but it is the written laws and principles and constitution and the structure and the system of God's laws of government. We are not broken. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? The very being of God, the in, in, excuse me, immutability of his characteristics, signifying of his counsel, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, God's teaching for instruction in righteousness and the principles of Jesus that the man or woman of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. We are not bro broken. Hallelujah. God has given us through Jesus Christ and he died on the cross for all of our sins, we must act and believe God for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, he is God's promise to us. And acts, and it shall be given, Jesus says. From his own mouth, Jesus, who knows his father's mind. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. That's why we are not broken. Because God has all power. So in the amount of time I have left, 1 John, the 5th chapter, verses 4 and 5. You have your Bibles. If not, write these scriptures down. Because it's important, brothers and sisters, that we know the times. These are the last days. And in 1 John, the 5th chapter of 1 John, verses 4 and 5 tells us, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? For whosoever, for everyone born of God, overcomes this world. We're not broken. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. The victory, the triumph, success over an enemy in battle or war, successful, the outcome of a struggle, the victor, the winner in any struggle. We're conquerors, more than conquerors. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God and the proof of the new birth is obedience. The person who is born of God loves God and obeys his commandments. We are not broken. Because God is the fountain and source and influence of everything that is bright and blessed. And he is the strength 
uh, in your reading, in your ability to read, read the 91st Psalm as I close. In this 91st Psalm, you will find these powerful words. Jesus' great invitation you can find here. There is a generation, and he says to us in verses 5 through 7, just bear with me, please. Verses 5 through 7, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. We are not broken. Hallelujah. Let not your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Jesus says, and trust also in me, and we are not broken. May God bless.